Who stays? Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah, your birth mother. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Chloe. I'm right here. Good. I need you. When I was in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. The 
what you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true. We kissed. It was the saddest kiss of life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her. That she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world chance to be your mother and she squandered it it pained me to hurt her like that but I'd do it again and again and again to keep you safe So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. Why not, if that's what Rachel wants? Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Rachel. I think I need to lie down. I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Hey, Mrs. Amber. I think it's Rose at this point, considering everything. Okay, Rose. Do you need any help with... Anything? That's very kind of you. Could you get out the broom for me? It's in the breezeway. Door to the left of the fridge. <laughs> 